Susu this morning in uh, Mashuralta. You received this uh, gift. Uh, I think it was uh, a, a, a good pleasure for you. Yes, I'm very honored for this recognition from Machata City. And um, honestly, I feel this is a recognition of the effort of the teams that work so hard for this project between Machata and the Taizan, especially the region involved altogether. Um, I really feel very encouraged that uh, now is not just uh, me after 60 times here <laughs> traveled. Um, more people now uh, would like to be part of this and I can feel hopeful that uh, the community is coming together to create opportunities for the young generation and uh, for uh, making this bridge between Machata and Taizan and our communities in the region stronger. Your story with Macerata, when did, when did it start? Okay, I, it started in 2012 when I was brought here by friend and then introduced me to your city, beautiful. Um, I was very shocked to discover that this is also hometown of Materici, the first person that brought Western culture to China. And um, honestly, I never imagined all this. I just uh, follow my heart and let all things unfold. And I'm very pleased to see how a company, Via Soccer, that I co-founded um, with our friends here in behind Dario Macarini <laughs> and that flourish into a project that's uh, much bigger than the soccer ball or football but uh, our communities together. I would say it's a very challenging uh, project to do because you are bridging uh, two different cultures, different uh, social systems, and also mindsets. And the purpose of Jimalajo, the purpose of international exchange, is to try to find some common ground with the appreciation of the differences and trying to teach people of the community to accept and embrace the differences and that's when we have opportunities to connect different sectors, the university, the schools, the commun community, the government, associations and I believe that uh, because of this difference our world is beautiful and we have a lot of work to do. So for me uh, this award is a new leap of faith and new jump start after all this past a few years of uh, you know the geopolitical and the pandemic and everything um, now we are more ready and uh, we are more uh, resourceful and uh, I am very positive and confident that this is a time for our communities to come closer together again not me personally but our people our team together okay you can show this uh, uh gift that the city of Mashuada gave you. <laughs> Why are you doing this for young people? Because they are the future and uh, I talked a lot with young people. They often came to my office and when I asked them about their dream or their passion, many of them don't know what they want. They say, we don't know. And many of them don't uh, think about university also. So uh, the project that we are trying to create is to open through our bridge uh, with the Jumilaja with Taizan for students to study a brief period in the university uh, from one to 12 months so they can learn Chinese culture, learn how to do business with China because in the end you can do made in Italy all day long but if you don't know how to sell it then it's still not good enough. So we're trying to create this project also open to all Jumilaja schools and a community here for young people who want to go and explore a different culture and to learn different skills and meet Chinese partners because without partner to work in that system and this market is very difficult. So this is a new uh, project that we really have been uh, having some success sending Agraria students, mm. also artistic student right now there for two to three months and then uh, early February we'll send two Abaguero students from Chingoli to study there also. So I hope that when they come back, they have an emotional connection and they would be more interested even to be part of this bridge and help promote culture to each other. <laughs> thanks, Sue, and uh, thanks for uh, all that you 
done for my job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you telling the story because me alone is not enough. Okay. And it needs, it needs to be everybody's story. And I hope that many, many years later, when we look back, we are all proud of being part of this story. Thank you.